The Gigabyte M series gaming monitors are one of the most unique in the market because they are probably one of the few gaming monitors with built in KVM. Today, what we have in our studio is the Gigabyte M27 QP gaming monitor, and here are the five things you will need to know. Number one, design. The monitor has a clean and minimalist design. We have reasonably thin bezels at the top and the sides, leaving only the bottom bezel for the Gigabyte logo and the backlighting components. The triangular base is not as useful as the square flat base, while the stand offers height and tilt adjustment, it lacks swivel and rotation adjustments. That means if you desire to have more ergonomic adjustments, you will have to get a monitor arm. The OSD controls are done through the 4-way joystick at the back of the monitor. It is more intuitive to use compared to those buttons where I always struggle to remember what is up, down, select and cancel. Gigabyte also provides a dedicated KVM button which we will talk about it in a while. Number 2. Connectivities As for the connectivities, we got one DisplayPort 1.4, two HDMI 2.0, one USB-C with 18 watt power delivery, one 3.5 mm audio output, one USB-B upstream port, and two USB-A downstream ports. Inside the box includes the following cables, power cord, HDMI cable, DisplayPort cable, USB-A to USB-B upstream cable. Unfortunately, the package lacks a high-speed USB-C cable, which is crucial if you want to use the KVM function. And that brings us to the third thing you will need to know about the M27QP, the KVM function. KVM is a switching module that allows you to use one set of monitor, keyboard and mouse on two computers. As you can see, I have a gaming PC and a MacBook Air connected to this setup. By pressing the KVM button at the back, I can quickly switch between the PC and the MacBook Air. Keep in mind that I'm still using the same set of keyboard and mouse to control whichever computer that is currently active on screen. The setup is very easy. First, plug in the keyboard and mouse to the monitor's USB port and then connect the USB-A to USB-B upstream cable from the PC to the monitor. This is very important, otherwise the keyboard and mouse will not work. After we are done with the USB, connect the monitor to the PC. You can use either HDMI or DisplayPort. At this point, you have a working PC setup. The next step is the easiest. Connect the MacBook Air or any laptop with a USB-C port to the monitor with a high-speed USB-C to C cable and you are done. Make sure your laptop supports DisplayPort output through the USB-C port and the USB-C to C cable is high-speed. Pressing the KVM button will switch the display and the keyboard and mouse control between the two computers. It is extremely useful if you are just like me having a gaming PC for personal and game stuff and then a laptop for business and work stuff. Number 4. The panel The display is a 27-inch IPS panel with 1440p resolution. It has a 165Hz refresh rate with 1 millisecond grey to grey response time. We tested the color accuracy with the colorimeter and the results are pretty reasonable at about 95% sRGB coverage with a low delta E value. The monitor also supports VESA display HDR400, so if you're into HDR, you can check it out. Number 5. The price. Last but not least, the Gigabyte M27 QP retails for 1849 ringgit Malaysia. Yes, it is considerably more expensive compared with other 27-inch gaming monitors with 1440p resolution and 165Hz refresh rate. However, you will need to keep in mind that the M27 QP comes equipped with KVM. It is a feature you don't find on other gaming monitors in the market. This applies the same the other way around. It is extremely rare to find a KVM monitor to support 165Hz refresh rate. So, if you were to purchase an external KVM, it will cost you an arm and a leg. On top of that, having a KVM built into the monitor also reduces the cable clutter. In other words, the M27 QP is a very special monitor made for gamers who are looking for a streamlined desktop setup. If you're in this group of users, then this is the monitor for you. So that's all I want to share with you, the Gigabyte M27 QP gaming monitor. 
If you've got any questions, do leave them down in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next video.